more efficiency. Hmm. That's really not... How much is Explosive Pro? I mean, I use it all the time. 16 energy? That's not very much. Tell you what, I will get. Where's the. Th oh, I already got that one. <laughs> eh, I'll wait. Yeah, I guess I could just disable the chat window. Since you can't see. There's no chat anyway. Here. Good point, hers. And I can't read the rest of it because my computer is trying to lock down. While I load, I'll check it after I finish loading. Four hundred and thirty eight gigs left. Getting kinda near the end. Sorta kinda. Oh. Thanks for failing that mission. Hail to the Emperor. More importantly, hail to you, Master. Damn starting to get some pretty decent credits. Like obviously it takes it takes a lot to to go on these missions, but Excellent. I was just wondering what I could do to please you. Travel to the Imperial Fleet to claim your Chapter 1 reward. Oh, I guess I can uh, just use that. But Or I could just keep it. To my stack of fleet passes. Since I'm already on the ship anyway, I kind of forgot. I have no idea what you're talking about. Pronouncing S snakes what? You're drunk again. I wonder if they did they I don't think they have. I was gonna say I don't wonder if they have improved these inheritance items or whatever, because when they first came out they were total crap. Like there was almost literally no reason whatsoever to use them. Because if I remember right, it creates an item that's close to your level, but it doesn't scale. It's like, well, that's kind of pointless. Oh, God. Lagmeister 3000. So, what? Don't I have another... No, no, I don't. I thought I had another class quest to go somewhere. Let's go and abandon these. Christ. Wait, why 
Why does this map look like this? There we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's not where I'm at. Oh god, the jerkiness. It's terrible. It's not just the stream, it's... It's just this. Quartermaster Bernal. Uh, you guys wanna load or not? Or... Come on. There we go. Almost. Yep. Come on. A little bit further. There we go. Oh boy. Uh, Koss City Pass used to teleport to the Citadel in Koss City. This pass allows you to quick travel to the Citadel in Koss City. Hmm. Alright. That was not really worth a trip to here. Flashpoint Courier. PvP Daily. Eh. I'll go ahead and grab the PvP. I don't know if I'm actually going to do it. These are just flashpoint current. Well, no, there's an agent. Agent, what are you Excuse me, sir. Agent Valerie, really First Duro's Division, Imperial Intelligence. May I say, sir, you are an inspiration for us all. Without your success, your power would have never allowed a fully alien division. Admiral Jafon Edge has been recalled to Nar Shaddaa and he requests your help. He embrace, embraces your success among my people and the less savory types on the smuggler's moon. Let's hear some more. The Rosa Puck Cartel maintains its neutrality and restricts our options on Nar Shaddaa, but the Republic is making major moves there. Colonel Harak will meet you in the spaceport on Nar Shaddaa and give you a full briefing. Be circumspect, but hurry. We could we could lose the moon for good. Is this uh, one of those? Oh yeah, no. Level 25 in gray. No. Oh, and it was also Nar Shaddaa, that planet I'm not a fan of. I really wish gray quests looked different. So that you could see, oh, this is a gray quest. I want to skip it. I was going to stop and look for Cleo some items, but since we're getting sort of kind of low on this space, I'll, uh, I'll wait. I'll do it afterwards. See, they did the same thing to the sorcerer, too, where they sent you all the way here to talk to that person. Who just gives you something, and they're like, "Oh, go back to your ship." It's like, ah, oh, for Christ's sake! You couldn't have just done this on the ship. <laughs> Granted, at least they gave you a fleet pass so that you could use it. If I went back and noticed it, but still. This is Watcher 3 to Cypher 9. Sorry to cut your leave short, sir, but we need you. Terrorist mop-up is officially over, and post-eradication rebuilding is on hold. The war just took top priority. Give me the situation. You're being recalled to headquarters. Keep will brief you on your next mission. Watcher 3 out. <sighs> See, I like going back to old planets. But it's such a pain in the arse to get there. 
If they made that not such a huge pain in the ass, it would be cool to go back. Because then, you know, most other MMOs, once you're done with a certain level range for that zone, you're done with that zone pretty much forever. So I like the idea that you go back to these places. But here, it's like, okay, you've, you've done this big mission. Now run to the Imperial Fleet, talk to this one guy. Okay, right, now go all the way back and get on your ship. Now fly to Drummond Cost, go back to the city. It's like, oh, for God's sakes. Can he not just talk to me? Can he just come to my ship? I mean, he's not doing anything else. I'm sure he's a very bored individual, the Keeper. He can't have too much stuff going on. By the way, I totally called Dark Jadis not being dead. Granted, I, I gave about four or five other suggestions, but I at least get partial credit for throwing that as one of my more likely suggestions. I just thought it was... What really tipped it off to me was when What's-Her-Face was saying, you need to make sure that the man who does this pays. It's like, okay, whenever in a movie or a game, a game especially, somebody says something like that, one of a few things is probably likely. Either A, the person saying it is guilty, B, it's a woman who's guilty, or uh, the alternative, or C, the person isn't dead. So that's why I was thinking, well, okay, maybe she's the culprit because she said the man who did this, make sure he pays or whatever. She was like very adamant that it was a male. So I was like, okay, well, then maybe she's guilty. Ready for departure. Or maybe he's just not dead. Obviously, she didn't know he wasn't. Enjoy your stay. Well, yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty clear that she doesn't know that he was dead. Or that didn't know that he was alive. But just the way they wrote it was kind of an underlying thing. Anyway, you can take that. Did I put that new gun on? I did not. What color is the blue crystal? Because that'd be that super cool. Green. I want it to be blue, just like me. Yeah, that was a pretty big, big upgrade. Assassin droid foot. It had the droid, the, it had the ship droid's face, and I'm like, wait, Another what? Another time. So many trash items. Was that too much to ask? I still do like the way Drama Cost looks, though. Very cool looking city. I don't think I will almost, almost certainly will not make it to 35 before I end recording today, which is unfortunate, but still not too bad. Ready for All things considered, like I said, I should have played the last two days. I'm kind of kicking myself for not. But the folks who wanted more Star Wars are definitely going to be pleased because they're going to get more Star Wars. did use that incredibly painfully obvious joke. Might do a little PvP today. What the hell, why not? Just to do the daily. I think they're pretty damn good XP, too. 
I need to start checking when I get it. Whenever I get this next quest, I'm going to check what the recommendation level is for that planet. I forgot the train. Oh, was it the? I have some information place. you may be interested in. Headshots. Fires a carefully placed shot that deals 1126 to 1193 weapon damage to a weak and standard targets and 770 to 816 weapon damage to strong targets. Only usable on an incapacitated targets. Here's a cooldown with Eviscerate. That's... This concludes our business. Ah, I'm running out of spots. A little insane here on the uh, abilities. Wait, where'd the headshot go? I guess it just got rid of the headshot? Yes, it did. Let's go ahead and put it on there. So, what's the activation time on that? Oh, that's an Imperial Agent. Ability. Interesting. Viscerate. Oh, okay. Headshot. Seems kind of low. But there's no activation time, so I guess that's... That's the nice thing about it. I mean, it does a ton of damage to non-strong targets, but generally, I don't really care about large amounts of damage to non-strong targets. Single damage, single target damage. Watcher three, hmm. where's Watcher two? What is this? Cipher nine, come in. I was just finishing oh, hey. the personnel security updates. Something looks different. Don't tell me you made it more stark. Something of the sort. Among the victims of Eradication Day were several high-ranking officials. The Dark Council took advantage of that to reward our success. My predecessor was elevated to Minister of Intelligence. That makes me the new Keeper of Operations Division. Well, well. That's quite a promotion. Shall we celebrate? I owe this to you. But with the promotion come certain responsibilities. I'm mounting an operation against the Republic Strategic Information Service. Our concern is this man, Arden Koth. SIS for nearly a decade, responsible for 16 covert projects in the Mid-Rim. The best spy master our enemies have. I've run into the Republic a lot lately, but uh, no espionage presence. The SIS is our smaller, more flexible counterpart, supported by military and Jedi reserves. Arden Coth's division recently received a classified sanction from the Republic Senate. Complete autonomy. No restrictions on their activities. The Republic believes Arden Coth can win the war. We need to know what he has planned. Do we have a full workup on him? There's very little. Born on Dantooine. Disappeared a while. Then joined the SAS after the Treaty of Coruscant. Motivations unknown. Revenge seems probable. Since receiving his own division, he's instigated three slave rebellions, one corporate takeover, and, we believe, inspired two of our own generals to defect. Now imagine him with unlimited resources and no ethical restraints. Does he have vices? A mistress? Anything? Not that we can find. Maybe you can do more. Imperial Intelligence has leaked documents to the SIS suggesting that one of our trustworthy agents is traumatized. At the same time, we sent anonymous messages to Arden Coth's team from an inside source. They now believe a cipher is ready to turn. I want you to make contact with the SIS and offer to be their spy inside the Empire. I've been a pirate and a terrorist. I can be a traitor too. Your objective is to earn their confidence, uncover their plan, and eliminate Arden Coth himself. This is a long-term, deep cover mission. I should warn you. This sort of work can be psychologically taxing. You will be isolated. Even most intelligence personnel won't know the truth. I can handle the pressure. Just remember whose side I'm really on. 
We've set up a meet with one of Arden Coth's men. You leave for Narshadar within the hour. Bury your loyalties for this one, Cypher. You'll know when the time comes to strike. Dismissed. Hmm. It's time to go. Don't keep the SIS waiting. Good to have you back on duty, Cypher 9. So, shouldn't Watcher 3 become Watcher 2, or is that not how it works? Because I kind of thought that, well, maybe the number had something to also do with your rank. It's been a long time since I've seen the... or experienced the uh, initial thing of doosers. You know what? Just call the airport. But yeah, it's been a long time since, you know, they did the introductions to the Imperial Intelligence Agency people. But yeah, I thought the numbers were, like, if you were Watcher 2 versus Watcher 3, Watcher 2 would be technically higher up. Maybe they could... Maybe they weren't giving orders. Like Watcher 2 couldn't order Watcher 3 around, but they had, like, seen you. So I can see how that could be pretty confusing. When something like that happened, it's like, oh, well, now everybody's name changes. So I'm assuming that basically being done with Darth Jadis, that's probably the end of Act 1, so now we're on Act 2. That would be logical, I think. I check around online to find out what's a, some good suggestions as far as leveling, because I'm because I think a lot of people were uh, suggesting at least for leveling to not go all the way up the engineering tree or whatever this tree's called. And I think I was looking at some of the top ones, and I could see why they were saying that because it didn't seem like they were that great for leveling at least. By default, who this will show you players who are currently on the same planet as you. Yep. How about them load times? All right. I cut it out a little bit. I always forget to turn off the recording during load times, just to. Keep your guys running to watch that junk. Wasting time. Got a little wonky spear. Wait a 
wait on a loading screen so that you can go down the elevator and wait on another loading screen. Awesome. Oh, god damn it. I had to use the ship's intercom. This is like the one time where it doesn't just kick off as soon as you get to the planet. What a pain in the ass. Ah, for god's sakes. Yeah, shit like this really just annoys the piss out of me. Because now we have to watch that dumbass animation fly up again just so I can go talk to the intercom because the one time the damn thing doesn't trigger because usually when you get to the planet it triggers automatically I don't know why it didn't this time so because I didn't think because normally it does happen so I didn't think to look at the quest And of course it doesn't light up like a quest item either. Oh, oh, the intercom. Not, not the other thing, because that's completely different. Nar Shada again. Casinos, death sticks, and head games with Watcher X. Think selling out to the Republic will be more fun? We get to lie to a whole new group of people. You know it. Don't forget to squeeze them for all they're worth. You are the conscience of our team, as always, Cleo. <laughs> for what it's worth, Cypher. We have our own doubts about this mission. But whatever happens, our loyalty is to you. Anything in particular you find troubling? Thought and action are the same in the nest. There's no concept for pretending to betray. Meeting with the SIS guy goes down on the promenade. You bring the charm, I'll bring the detonite. Ready to return to work. Uh, ready to like me out, more like. 918 credits? Youch. I'd call that a failure. Since it costs me more to send you. We'll report when we're done. I don't know if we're going to have time to do the PvP. Leave everything to me, Master. I will not disappoint you. Yeah, it should have tipped me off. Well, it kind of did tip me off when I brought the map the first time. I didn't see any green. I thought, well, maybe it's just because I'm inside. And he wanted me to be outside. Because the quest markers are kind of flaky as is. Most of the time, they're fine. But Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Definitely a nice looking zone though. Without question.
Wow, you can't mount inside buildings, so therefore we don't want you mounting inside of buildings either. Because we just copy and pasted their gameplay. Alright, meeting place over here. 